Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Value Wrestling on the Big Time. And we have a new program for you called This Week in Wrestling History. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to jump back in the time machine and we're going to take a journey through wrestling history. And we're going to bring it to you right here on the Value Wrestling, right here on YouTube. With This Week in Wrestling History. And of course, we're going to start off with this week starting on October 6th, going to October 12th. So, Sit down, strap in, and get ready for a journey as we talk about some of the biggest moments in wrestling history. Starting with one very controversial moment in wrestling history, going back to October 6, 1997. And one of the most controversial moments in Monday Night Raw history, WWE, Vince McMahon, conducted an interview with Melina Pillman that aired less than 24 hours after the passing of her husband and wrestling legend, Brian Pillman. A lot of people have made their statements and opinion about this interview and where they stand, and it has been very, very controversial. But it's a moment that live in wrestling history forever. October 6, 1999 would be a sad day in wrestling history as the world would come to find out that the legend, the Hall of Famer, Gorilla Monsoon, would have passed away at the age of 62. Monsoon, whose real name is Robert James Morello, was one of the most revered personalities in the history of the company, let alone the world of professional wrestling itself. The icon, the Hall of Famer, a famed wrestler turned commentator turned backstage administrator, would become famously known for manning the desk right behind the curtain, where he'd give last-minute directions and timing to wrestlers. The very position would eventually become known as the Gorilla Position, as a tribute to the icon. The legend, the Hall of Famer, Gorilla Monsoon. October 6, 2013, saw WWE bring us Battleground live from the first Niagara Center in Buffalo, New York. This event would end up being one of the lowest pay per view buys since 2006 ECW December to December event. Of course, the show would be highlighted by a great tag team match as Dustin and Cody Rhodes would defeat the Shield of Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns to win their reinstatement into WWE. The storyline that had been built up and led to this with the authority firing both Goldust slash Dustin Rhodes and Cody Rhodes and their daddy getting involved. Yes, the legendary American Dream Dusty Rhodes would help bring his boys together and help get their reinstatement into the WWE. 2019, on October 6, 2019, WWE would bring you hell in a cell live from the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California. The highlights of the show were Charlotte Flair defeating Bailey by submission to win the SmackDown Women's Championship. Becky Lynch would retain her Raw Women's Championship in a great hell in a cell match against Sasha Banks. And of course, the main event would end in a draw as Seth Rollins and The Fiend would battle it out in a hell in a cell of their own. And what would be a great, great match. As we move along, October 7th starts off on a sad note. As well, on October 7th, 2001, the world would come to find out that gentleman Chris Adams had passed away. He was shot and killed at his home in Waxahachie, Texas, following an alcohol-fueled argument. The England-born wrestler was only 46 years old. October 7, 2007, WWE would bring us No Mercy live from the All-State Arena in Chicago, Illinois. This event was most notable for containing not one, not two, but three WWE Championship matches. John Cena would suffer a pictorial injury, which would make him have to relinquish the title. The title would then be awarded to Randy Orton, who would immediately lose it to Triple H. Triple H would then go on to defend it against Umaga successfully before losing it back to Randy Orton in a last man standing match all on the same night. 2015, October 7th, NXT TakeOver Respect. Live from Full Sail University in Winter Park, Florida. Saw one of the greatest main events in women's wrestling history, let alone history altogether. As Bailey and Sasha Banks tied it up in a 30-minute Iron Woman match that many consider to be the best women's match under the WWE banner in WWE wrestling history. Bailey would go on to retain her title in a beautiful classic 
Elsewhere, Finn Balor and Samoa Joe were declared the winners of the first ever Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Tournament with a victory over Rhino and Baron Corbin in the final. Finally, October 7th, 2020, AEW would celebrate 30 years of Jericho. Drink it in, man. Yes, Jericho would team up with Jake Hager as they took on Luther and Serpentico in the main event. Also on this night, Cody Rhodes would win back the TNT Championship in a dog collar match against the late legend Brody Lee. October 8th brings us a big day in New Japan history, so for all our New Japan buffs, this one's for you. October 8th, 2007, Hiroshi Tanahashi defeated Yuji Nagata to win the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. We start October 9th off by going all the way back to 1982 when Nick Bockwinkle begins a 501-day reign as the AWA World Heavyweight Champion when he beats Otto Watts in Chicago, Illinois. October 9th, 2000, one of the infamous days in wrestling histories. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they did it for The Rock. After a month-long investigation by Commissioner Mick Foley to find out who ran over Stone Cold Steve Austin at the Survivor Series the year before, it was revealed on Raw that the culprit was Rikishi, who claimed to have done it to benefit his cousin, The Rock. Of course, The Rock was appalled as Rikishi turned heel to feud with the man he tried to run over 11 months prior. Yes, the infamous line, I did it for The Rock, came true on this date in wrestling history. October 9, 2006, Kurt Angle would make his highly anticipated TNA wrestling debut when he confronted Samoa Joe to conclude an episode of Impact. The debut marked the start of the feud that led to TNA's largest ever pay-per-view buy rate at lockdown later this year. And it would be the day that Kurt Angle would make his TNA debut and change the course of TNA. Jumping to 2017, New Japan Pro Wrestling brought us King of the Pro Wrestling from Tokyo. The event would see two major title changes in the first. Sho and Yo would defeat Rikishi and Razuki Taguchi to win the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. Later in the card, Will Ospreay would win the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship against Kushida. The main event would also see Kajushko Okada defend his IWGP Heavyweight Championship against Evil. 2020 would make a sad day in wrestling history as the WWE Draft would kick off with one of the biggest splits in wrestling history as SmackDown Tag Team Champions Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, part of the New Day, were sent to Monday Night Raw while their counterpart, another member of New Day, Big E, was drafted to SmackDown. October 10th would start off with a doozy, as on October 10th, 1999, one of the worst pay-per-views in wrestling history would take place live from Casino Magic Complex in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. We would get to see, or maybe not see, the Heroes of Wrestling. The Heroes of Wrestling was supposed to be this great pay-per-view event that was featuring stars of the late 80s and 90s wrestling, including names like the Bushwhackers, Jimmy Snuka, and the One Man Gang. The main event turned into a tag team match when Jim the Amal Nightheart teamed up with King Kong Bundy to take on Jake the Snake Roberts and Yokozuna. Originally, Yokozuna and King Kong Bundy were supposed to be the main event in a one-on-one -on -one match. But when Jim Nightheart and Jake the Snake Roberts started their match, it was very apparent that Jake Roberts was clearly under the influence. And to save this match, both Yokozuna and Bundy were sent down to make this a tag team match. October 10th, 2010, TNA Bound for Glory took place at the Ocean Center in Daytona Beach, Florida. The main event saw Jeff Hardy win the vacated TNA World Heavyweight title in a triple threat match against Kurt Angle and Mr. Anderson. After the match, the long tease they was finally revealed when Jeff Hardy aligned himself with Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff to eventually be joined by Abyss and Jeff Jarrett to create the faction which would become known as Immortal. October 10th, 2011, saw Matsuto Tanaka defeat MVP at Destruction 11 event at Sumo Hall, Tokyo, to become the second ever IWGP Intercontinental Champion. October 10th, 2016, saw Tamatanga 
and Tonga Leo defeat the Briscoe Brothers to win the IWGP Tag Team Champions at the King of Pro Wrestling 16 event in Tokyo. No, this mat, this picture is not from that match, but it was a great, great match. October 11th starts off hot when we go back to 1996 and hear about Ultimo Dragon winning the Fame J Crown Collection of Championship by defeating the Great Suzuki in Osaka, Japan. October 11, 2010, New Japan Pro Wrestling Destruction 10 took place at the Sumo Hall in Tokyo. The Golden Lovers, Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi, would defeat Apollo 55, Rizuki Taguchi, and Prince Devitt to win the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. Also on that same night, SmackDown taping, Randy Orton would win a 41-man Battle Royal to earn a shot at the WWE Championship later in the show. At that time, this would be the largest Battle Royal in WWE history. October 11th, 2019 would change the course for one Bailey as she would arrive at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada to be in the main event where she would beat Charlotte Flair for the Women's SmackDown Championship. It'd also be the infamous day that Bailey would take out her inflatable buddies. This would be the night that Bailey would change course from the huggable, lovable Bailey to the Bailey we know today. October 12th. October 12th, 1992. Brett the Hitman Hart won his first WWE World title from Ric Flair and second tune at a TV taping for an episode of WWE Superstars and Primetime Wrestling that aired across late October and November. The match itself never aired on television, only on Coliseum Video VHS release. The taping focused on promoting the upcoming Survivor Series pay-per-view and featured the TV debuts of Yokozuna and the Head Shrinkers, as well as the Intercontinental title match between the British Bulldog and the Repo Man. Marty Jannetty also made a surprise return and revenge attack on Shawn Michaels after the split almost a year earlier on the Barbershop interview. Also, Money Inc., Ted DiBiase, and IRS defended their newly won tag team titles against High Energy, Owen Hart, and Coco Beware. Even though Money Inc. was knowledge at these tapings as the tag team champions, they did not win the titles until the following night's taping of Wrestling Challenge in nearby Regina and Saskatchewan. 1998, October 11, 1998, in WCW Monday Nitro from the United Center in Chicago. The war between Eric Bischoff and the Four Horsemen would escalate. Goldberg would have his biggest test to date as his undefeated streak went up against one big man known as the Giant. Yes, the Goldberg and the Giant tied it up for the first time. And of course, the main event sells Sting and the Warrior reunite for one night to take on the New World Order members of Hollywood Hulk Hogan and Bret Hart. October 11, 2008, the Academy Award-nominated film The Wrestler starring Mickey Warwick had its first public screening at the New York Film Festival. And finally, October 12, 2019, at Ring of Honor, Glory by Honor in New Orleans, Louisiana. Stylus so Young would win a battle royal to face the Ring of Honor world champion Roosh later in the show. PCO would defeat Dalton Castle in a final battle number one contender semi-final match. And Marty Scroll would win the other semifinal match. Then PCO would defeat Marty Scroll to become the new number one contender. Rush would then retain the Ring of Honor World Championship against Silas Young in the main event. And ladies and gentlemen, this brings to conclusion this week in wrestling history. I hope you enjoyed it. We covered the week of October 6th, October 12th. We covered a lot of stuff. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll be back for the next one. So we will see you next week when we bring you This Week in Wrestling History.